Shalom. I want to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word innerly calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word innerly calls Jesus Christ. All right, I want to say the water or oh, thank you to Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai for the Rakakwadash. The Rakakwadash being the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. All right. The my honors goes out to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety. And salutations also goes out to all the IKM around the world, preaching and teaching this word and truth and in sincerity. All right. Shalom to the hope for a lit. All right, to all your call from the men of Valley, South Carolina camp. Coming back with a lesson. And um, this one's going to be uh, somewhere on the lines of uh, pride going before destruction. All right. Because a hey, brothers in the know. Know that we are in the uh, time of war, man. All right. World War Three is here. All right. Things are popping off left and right. All right. And uh, Esau Kingdom. All right. Esau Edom. All right. So-called white man. The uh, elite of them kingdom is going down. All right. They're losing their power. group. They're losing their power structure. Heathen nations are coming up against them that once were never before. All right. So, uh, you know, just meditating and reading scriptures and uh, made me think about how... Um, <clears throat> Before fall, um, before a, a, a fall, prides come before destruction. So, like, I'm going to grab that scripture too, all right. But I'm going to show you an example of pride right here that Esau Edom ha uh, has, all right. It says Pompeo warns Iran's leaders U.S. could attack them if they retaliate. So here these devils then uh, attack their country, okay? Killed one of uh, Iran's top generals, all right. But don't want them to do anything about it. All right? Because they're so proud. They're America. They can do what they want to do. All right? So that's the pride of Esau Edom, man. Just think they can go around, kill, steal, and destroy, and nobody better not say nothing. And nobody better not do nothing. But no. The Lord is putting that spirit, uh, that medial Persian spirit, all right, back in the earth, man. Okay? So uh, it says, Pompeo warns Iran's leaders. U.S. could attack them if they retaliate. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo added to President Trump's earlier message that the U.S. might attack Iran if it took hostile action against American interests for the strike of Major General Qasem Soleimani. Soleimani. All right. So he's warning them, man. All right. I read the response. Said, I've been part of the discussion and planning process. Everything I've seen about how we will respond with great force and great vigor if the Iranian leadership makes a bad decision. All right, Pompeo said on CNN, State of the Union. We hope that they won't, but when they do, America will respond. All right, say so, hey, this World War Three is here, man. All right. Country talking about how they going to respond if another respond. Okay. But I'm going to stick to the topic at hand, showing you the pride and uh, proudness of Esau Edom, thinking that they dictate the whole world, man. They can do whatever the hell they want. All right. But now nah, these heathens are ready to attack. All right. So that was the pride. I just wanted to show an example of the pride of Esau telling Iran they better not attack. All right. Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. All right. So Esau been proud all their damn life, man. But now their pride is being heightened because their destruction is not. All right, so it says pride goeth before destruction, man. All right, so Esau is showing the pride. Then what's about to come? Their destruction. All right, the destruction of the nation of Esau and Edom. The destruction of Esau's Edom power system known as Babylon the Great. All right, a.k.a. America, man. All right, so Esau is showing that pride before that destruction come. It reads, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Yeah, a proud, haughty, high-minded spirit before a fall. Because this is a, a proud spirit, man. All right? And this is a haughty spirit. Warning I ran not to attack after you killed one of the generals. All right? Um, so let's grab some more precepts. This is Jeremiah. 49 and uh started what? So I started 16 
Yeah, I started at 16. It's going in on Esau, Edom. And I'm going to read to verses, uh, I'm going to read to verse 20. Okay. Jeremiah 49 and 16. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill. All right. Say so even Jeremiah prophesying about how, all right, how the terribleness of Esau Edom had deceived him. Them that dwell in the cliffs of the rock, who is from the Caucasus Mountains, you Caucasians, you Edomites, you so-called white people, man. All right, but we're talking about the elite of you uh, Edomites, all right? Not your regular damn McDonald's working Edomites. You're a peon, all right? All right, it says, uh, Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, said the Lord. All right, so what Esau going up in the space stations, okay? Got satellites all in space, all right? Uh, building high towers all around the world, coming out with 5G network. All right, thinking they just run the whole earth. All right, but it says, Well, I will bring thee down from thence, said the Lord. So, how about Shem is going to take you out of power, Esau, Edom? All right, and you're seeing it starting to happen, uh, with these other nations rising up against you. All right, and just in case you didn't think it was talking about Esau, Edom, here, let's get it. Verse 17 Also, Edom shall be a desolation, everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished. And shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. Yeah, man. So Esau Edom is going to be a desolation. The nation of Esau Edom. And the place where uh, Esau Edom pride and joy is Babylon the Great, man. All right? So that's why these devils are so proud now. And just uh, uh, so uh, high-minded. All right? Because their destruction is not. All right? Um, verse 18. As in the overthrow of Sodom... And Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, said the Lord, No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Yeah, that's talking about Babylon the Great, man. Nobody's going to buy here. Nobody's going to dwell in Babylon the Great no more. Because why? It's going to be totally destroyed off the face of the earth by thermonuclear missiles and the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. All right, we're reading about that now. All right, this ain't something I just made up because uh, <laughs> my life is hell here in Babylon the Great. No, this is what the scriptures say. All right. It says, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, said the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like, it's like it for who is like me? And who will appoint me that time? Who is that shepherd that will stand before me? It says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he taketh against Edom. All right, so what well, the Lord got a counsel against Esau, Edom. All right, that's why he's sending your troops to the Middle East, all right, to perish in his third world war. It says, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom. And his purpose is that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. That's those Edomites too. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. All right. And that is what we have going on now, man. The least of the flock is drawing out uh, Babylon the Great. You got little Iran, all right, drawing out Babylon the Great. About to have them show their true colors how... How uh, they are so ready to kill, steal, and destroy, and take over your nation, man. All right. So the least of the flock is drawing is drawing these uh, drawing Babylon the Great out, out, man. All right. Let me grab one more real quick, and Obadiah, about the pride, because that's a hey, Esau Edom is going to get prouder and prouder because why they know but that they have but a short time. All right, so they're going to get proud and just start killing everything, man. Like, I could do what I want. All right? Because what? Pride comes before destruction, and destruction is coming. All right? So Esau, Edom, pride is getting higher. Obadiah 1 and 3, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, was said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? 
All right? So the pride of your heart is going to deceive you, Esau, Edom. You, your pride is going to have you think you're going to win this war. You're going to fight against the angels and the chariots. All right? That you're going to keep the Israelites in subjection forever. That uh, your pride tells you that you're going to go with your uh, your Georgia God stones. But no, your pride have deceived you. All right? And your pride is coming because your destruction is now also. All right? So this is a beautiful thing we see. Okay? See, when you see Esau getting proud, hey, don't fret. Just know that their destruction is coming now. I'll end it what we started with again. Just to touch base it back on that. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. All right, so that's what's coming to you, Esau. All right, your destruction is coming. All right, so we know you're getting proud and you're, you're going to have a haughty spirit before your fall. But it's all good. Your how about Shemiah Shai going to bring you to the uh, to the earth, bring you low. All right, hey, so stay strong, stay watching. I can call her all your how about Shemiah Shai. Shalom.